Okay, everybody, welcome back to uh, Elite International Detective. We took a look at this uh, game about a week ago, I think. It showed a lot of promise. There were a lot of really interesting aspects to it that I was intrigued with, not the least of which is simply the theme and the time period. It reminds me of that old uh, TSR RPG Gangbusters, uh, which I didn't play a lot of when I was a kid, but was in love with it conceptually. Um, that's kind of the, the way I felt about um, Elite International Detective as well. I was in love with it conceptually and just wanted to uh, wanted to be able to appreciate it properly <clears throat> and couldn't quite get there. Um, but Slashy, Santiago Zapata, the gentleman who made this back in, uh, ten years ago, um, came in on the, uh, on the channel and, and dropped some knowledge that is very useful and has since followed up as well by sending me some code and talking me through what some of the code meant. Um... <clears throat> such that I now have a lot more information to approach this game. And I thought it'd be cool to to do so, uh, armed with this knowledge. So let's, let's cover some of that. I will include a lot of this uh, directly below, not just a link to where you can get the game, but I'll include some of the, the data that was hard-earned um, below. Uh, he wrote, uh, thank you, blah, 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 no offense, I don't mean blah, 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 to his thank you, but uh, let me get to the information that's important to you. Uh, there's a missing command X. The letter X, maybe capital X. You can use it to change lethality between disable, kill, slash intimidate. Might have come in handy in combat. Uh, we noted that when we played before, that there was something, something that said something about lethality and intimidate. Um, <clears throat> but we didn't know we could change it. Um, so apparently that was left out of the data. There you go. We'll press X to change to kill. Um, I did ask him this morning, is there any reason to ever be in anything other than kill mode? Um, and he said he doesn't think so. He said uh, it was probably meant to be, uh, you know, something you could intimidate people to get information, but he never got there. So we're going to switch to kill mode right away. Uh, there's an inventory. By pressing I, we can check out details of our weapons. We'll do that, but I also actually have the stats for all the weapons, which I'll include below, and we'll talk through it as we go. Um, he asked about music. I didn't get any music. This was supposed to be MIDI music. Um, apparently that's because I'm using Java 18 point some odd. And starting with Java 17 point some odd, there was a schism between how it supported MIDI and in that it no longer does. Um, so there you go. Um, <clears throat> that is about it for what's there. Let's dive into the game and we'll uh, we'll pick up what we can. Let me um, let me just arrange my window so that it's as large as possible. As per always with a lot of the older roguelikes, the windows it produces are very very small, and unless they are specifically just text terminal windows, I can't adjust that. I'm just stuck with what it gives me. So. By playing in OBS Studios, I can make a giant window, and I'll basically play in my own recording screen, or at least I'll, I'll watch my own recording screen while I do this. Let's log in. Log in. Detective at the keyboard, please identify yourself. Let's be Jeff again, because Jeff is awesome. Uh, there's no record of you, despite your visiting three or four times now. Um, your current rank is rookie. Press space to continue. Okay. Flash. Caraqueño, Prime Minister of Colombia, has been kidnapped pardon me, at her house at Medellin, Colombia. Criminal organization Iron Fist is taking responsibility for this crime. Our prime suspect is Ethan Black, as it always is. International criminal. <clears throat> Your assignment. Travel to Colombia. Track the kidnapper to his hideout and neutralize him. You are authorized to do whatever it takes to disable or exterminate the criminal. The kidnapper is threatened to strike back by November 27th, 1922, 5 p.m. If you have not captured him slash her by then, uh, your mission will be considered a failure. Good luck, rookie Jeff. That's me. <clears throat> I'm a rookie. I'm Jeff. Let's press space. Right? Let me go in the right window. I press space. There we go. Okay. So as per last time, uh, we start in the, in the headquarters here. You can see on the right-hand side of the screen right here, Lethality Intimidate. The very first thing we're going to do is try X. Kill! With an exclamation point. <clears throat> Jesus Christ, I'm sorry guys. I sound like I am drowning as I speak to you. I'm not. I'm on dry land. I apologize. Um, <clears throat> we are now, though, in kill mode. And as I said, I think that's the very first step you ever want to take when you enter this game. Press X to switch it to kill and leave it there. He assures me there is no reason not to. Um, our heroic luck is our health, of course. Stamina is what we use when we run and that kind of shit. Um, I don't know how much we're going to have to run, but, we, but it came in useful last time. Let's press I for inventory. We can see... Oh, did we not see this before? Oh my goodness. I for inventory <clears throat> is a very, very basic um, command in any... in almost any roguelike. Um, let me let me see something here before we even 
Before we engage with this, let's press question mark. No, let's press H for help. Maybe there was no, uh, maybe there was no help thing here, so I didn't, uh, I didn't know. But we see the letters here. I don't know how I knew I was using the, or how I knew what I had, before. I don't remember pressing I. But here we go. In addition to what we're using, we have a Bergman MP18, which is damage two, range five, spread three. Now I will include again below the actual stats <clears throat> for these weapons. But the Bergman 18 does not do damage two; it does damage one to two per bullet that hits. It has a range of five, a spread of three, which I'll talk about in a second, and it fires five bullets with each attack. So you pull the trigger, you, you spray five bullets, meaning you actually could do anywhere from zero damage if you miss with all of them, to ten damage if all five hit for maximum damage. Um, very important to know that. But we know it now. We also have, what we're currently using, of course, is a... Let me find it. A Remington Double Derringer, which does two to four damage on every bullet that hits, but it only fires one bullet at a time. It has a range, though, of ten. Fires a single bullet with a spread of one, which means one potential target. The spread, I'm told, um, for shotguns as an example, is, is exactly what you think it is. The, the bullets spread out in, in a wide V to potentially damage multiple targets. Um, might be useful if you're fighting multiple enemies, but other than that, it's it, what it really means is your bullets are going to spread out and be less accurate, I think. So I think the spread of one is a more accurate weapon because it's firing one bullet than a spread of three. Um, the spread of three, though, might hit multiple things if they have any standing next to each other. Now, we saw the last time we played... Um, well, let's, let's get us going on this, and we'll, we'll come back to this. Clothing, we have a dark blue suit. Is this what we're using, or what we could wear? We're wearing a cheap raincoat. You can see here, armor one, coolness two, disguise three. Now he assures me the coolness in disguise never actually got never actually got used in the uh, in the game. This code is basically um, it was there in case he continued the game and, and could add in these features to matter. The only thing that matters is armor one, and frankly, I've looked at the code. Every single piece of clothing in the game has armor one, so there's no reason to ever change your clothes as far as I can see. Remote communication device. I don't recall if I ever used that. Let's uh, let's press space again. Now. <clears throat> The very first game we played of this, one second. Let me let me at least try and be a little, slightly less grotesque. I sound like something Cthulian, something from the mythos, gabbling in your ear. Give me one second. Okay, that was me hacking out small portions of my lungs. All right, um, and I'm not sick. I literally just ate breakfast, which was a yogurt and and almond milk smoothie, and uh, I'm allergic to dairy, which is in the yogurt, so that's why I sound like I do. Um, <clears throat> we, when we played the very first version of this game last time, the first game we played, our target was in Medellin, Colombia, which I think ours is now, too, right? And I, was, I remember trying to leave the building so we could, you know, walk to where we gotta go or hop in a car, but you can't. I think your very first step, after you've switched to kill, your very first step is always to press M, to move to the airport, yes. Here we are in the airport. We saw some NPCs there before. They're cool, but we don't have any need to talk to them uh, just now. Apparently it's one hour later, is that right? I didn't really notice the time. We can talk to this guy by bumping into them. Good day. There's <clears throat> an airport lady. I don't know if we can talk to her or not. Welcome, Rookie Jeff. You can't walk there. Um, but from, from here, we are going to move. No, fly. The agency does not yet know of any possible locations for suspect. We need more info from you. Um, all right, man. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> we we saw this happen once before. Um, I thought we had all the info we needed. Last time we we walked over to here and suddenly it's like, hey, we have info. Do you want to go there? I may have to start this game. I'm I'm guessing it's only because we start in Medellin, Colombia, and. And our our enemy is in Medellin, Colombia. So it seems like there's maybe a a bit of a glitch there. Good day. Let's try let's try using our, our remote communication device to see if that maybe that'll give us some info. B. I used B. Let's use B again. Use B. Hmm, it's not doing anything. 
Let's, we're already wearing a, a raincoat. Let's wear a dark blue suit. Let's at least look snazzy. There you go. Now we look cooler, perhaps, or, or more disguised. One of the two. <clears throat> Let's find that out for, for recordness. So we don't look as cool as we do, but we do look more disguised. I think I'd look a lot cooler in a, in a fucking dark blue suit than I would in a raincoat, <laughs> personally. <laughs> Um, but I like dressing up. All right, let's um, let's panic at our inability. Let's just try. Let's wait till she shows up. Maybe we can bump into her. Come on, there we go. No, we can't talk to her. The abduction of Kerekenyo. Guys, I don't know. If we press F to fly, we don't know any place to go. Let's try moving again. Go to the HQ, I guess so. Let's try walking around and see if anybody has any info. The bastards have put another keeper. Oh, sweetheart, that's all she ever says. Because she's my lady. I need some tickets, too. Somewhere up here is our boss. Let's try talking to him. And there's a slim chance that he'll be like, oh, here's the info you need. The bastards have pulled another caper. This gun is my welcome gift. Good luck. Did I get it? Did I get something new? No. The gun that I already have is my welcome gift, I guess. I don't know. Remember, we're working on the honor bases. Well, I can't work on the honor bases. I don't even know where I'm going. I can't work, period. Um, sorry. So, so here's where I'm at. Um, the intention of re-recording this is to show you more of the game, and we're seeing less of the game. Um, but I truly, uh, I truly do believe it's because, because our quarry is where we started. I think I could be wrong. I think there's a glitch where it doesn't, you know, when you fly to a new location, it instantly fills your, like, your little frickin' notepad with, or your journal or whatever, with, hey, here's a bunch of options to where you can go. We can't fly to a location because it's not letting us. Let's try one more time, going back to the, go to the airport? Yeah! It's now 8 o'clock. Let's try flying again. The agency does not yet know of any possible locations for the suspect. Um, I think we're going to try and kill this and try again, guys. I truly think... I, I, I could be totally wrong. <clears throat> and if you're seeing the the glaring mistake that I'm making, tell me. But I think it's just because we started in in Colombia. We're going to Colombia. So let's, let's start again until we at least get a, a caper that is, that is elsewhere. Let me get myself set up here. Let me kill this. Did I kill the right one? We still have any? Yeah, okay. Here we go. Move this over. Okay. Log in to Intersleuth Detective Services as Jeff. Are you new here? No. <laughs> but I'll pretend I am. All right. All right, good. Not only are we not in Colombia anymore, we're going home, baby. I, mean, I don't live in Vancouver. I live in Canada, though. We're going quite far away from my home. We're going the other side of the continent from my home, but let's go. Ellie Lollum, Canadian bas Canadian with a, a small C. Basketball player has been kidnapped in her car at, at Vancouver, Canada. Um, the rest of it's the usual stuff. Fine. Let's go to Vancouver. I've been to Vancouver. Maybe, I spent maybe two or three months of my life there. I used to work there a lot when I worked for a... I had a wonderful job for about 15 years that sent me traveling all the time. <clears throat> Unfortunately, they shuttered in 2014. All right, let's, let's, well, as, as far as I know, we have all the information we need, right? Let's move to the airport. Yes. Let's fly. Look at that. Because we're not flying to where we already are, we can travel to Vancouver, Canada. Let's do it. Um, here's some information about Vancouver. The Fraser Gold Rush of 1858 brought over 25,000 men, mainly from California, to nearby New Westminster on the Fraser River, on their way to the Fraser Canyon, bypassing what would become Vancouver. Vancouver is among British Columbia's... is among British Columbia's... Vancouver... Can is among British Columbia's Vancouver... Uh, I'm guessing there's this weird typo. <clears throat> Vancouver is among... whatever. Vancouver is a coastal city. Located in the lower mainland of British Columbia, Canada, it is the most populous city in Western Canada and the third largest in the country. Sounds about right. I don't know. I don't know if that's still true or not, but sounds about right. There are three places in your list to look for clues leading to the criminal. Okay, we now have options. Let's look at them. We can now press M to move. 
Where will you go? The crime scene? The house of Mr. and Mrs. Nellen Quellen. Quellen? Visit with... Visit with? Visit with them? The shopping mall, which is a criminal safe haven, or the house of Mr. and Mrs. Guiley Cones. Visit wit. Um, I'm not sure who the the other two are. The, the, the logical place for me remains to go to the crime scene. That seems like the first place you'd go to find out information. So let's do that. Um, as to who these other individuals are, I'm not sure. Let's go see Ellie Lollum. Ellie Lol. So once again, we get a map here, um, which I take to be an overhead map of of the area we're about to investigate. That would seem clear to me. You do press spacebar to get past this. You can't move around in here. But where we start on it remains unclear. Um, I think um, I think I think uh, Santiago actually commented on that. He said something about. Um, Not sure why the city maps are looking weird. Might be due to a rotation issue. Also would have been great to enable the player to peek at them any time. Um, so, uh, rotation issue sounds like a promising idea. What if, what if we're actually starting on, say, as an example, starting on, say, the southern edge of the map, like here. If that was true, we'd want to walk, and, th and this is north, and this is south. Uh, we'd want to walk east, and then south, and then maybe over to here, I don't know, or over to here, I don't know. I don't know if that helps us, we don't know where we're going. <laughs> let's, um, let's figure it out. It says it's to the southeast, so maybe I'm right about that. We have a long hallway here, well, I don't know. Okay, we have a criminal. That we want to kill. We forgot to switch our lethality, let's do that now. Keep it in kill. Um... That gentleman, the, the, to the south there, we have a green tea. That is a civilian. I asked uh, Santiago this morning if there's any actual penalty to killing civilians. Because, for instance, you can use weapons that have a spread. And I'm like, if, you, if you're spraying indiscriminately and gunning down people all around, is that an issue? He says no. Um, so they are just things in the way that we don't have to really worry about. For now, though, let's press space bar to fire. Again, this, this little um, absent symbol connotes space. Space to fire. At the guys, no penalty. <laughs> and then uh, space fire again. Oh, yeah, it's loud. Fuck me. I didn't see how loud that was for you. Loud for me. Um, I shot him. He almost dodged a bullet. I was almost hit, but not quite. My heroic luck, though, is only has so much luck to it. Oh, I pressed F. Does F fire again at the last guy you fired at? I pressed F and it just fired. It seemed like. Let me let my cat in. Come on in. Um, should we switch? Well, let's, let's finish out this firefight with this. We are in kill mode. Hopefully we'll kill him easier than, than we did before. So far, no. Alright, he's dead. Um, our health will come back if we pass a bit of time here. At least that's what I recall it doing. Maybe not. Oh, there we go. Here's some back. Um, should we switch our weapons? Um, if we go to our inventory, again, this does damage 1 to 2, but it fires... Oh, that's not listed here. Spread 3 was not listed here according to the stats that I was given this morning from the code. The Bergman fires five rounds per shot. If I'm right, that would mean it could do zero to ten damage. Um, as opposed to our pistol, which only fires one shot. Let's assume that that's true, even though it's not listed here, and switch to it. Let's try just pressing A here. Can we do that? No. Let's, uh, let's get out of this. Let's try using the Bergman. If we're right, this will be slightly less accurate, but it'll fire five rounds at once, which should logically kill them a lot faster. Well, five times as fast. Maybe a little less than five times as fast if we're less accurate. We may gun down some innocent civilians as it goes, but um, why would I care? Oh, they're to the northeast now. So you get this little um, text down here. We knew this before. We figured this out before. It tells us where we want to go. 
hopefully, out of my way, guys, or I will start firing indiscriminately. To the southeast. Northeast. Whoa! Yeah, see, we got a bunch of shots fired there. Allegedly, I mean, that should be. Alright, we got him. He's dead. Sorry about the mess on your porch, sir. It had to be done. Oh, fuck me. I gotta move a little slower. Now that we're not trying to intimidate, it seems like we're killing them easier this time. They're still obviously quite terrifying. They haven't dropped any weapons yet, but when they do, I now have the main thing I got today. Aside from the switch to X, you know, to to be in the uh, kill mode. The main thing I have now, again, that I've posted below, is the actual statistics for the weapons. Um, I love it when I have that in any in any um, roguelike. When I lack that. Right, it's directly east, beyond this wall, apparently. When I lack that, it definitely makes the game a lot less fun. Am I dead? No, it's just... Okay. I'm probably gonna die. Okay, I got him. Let's, let's back off and pass our turn a bit. And let me slow down. I'm moving too fast here. I'm gonna get myself killed. I want to see a win in this game. It feels like it'd be a cool thing to win. Southeast. Southwest. South. This must be it. Southeast. South. Maybe in this building? Southeast. I'm thinking we're in this building here. To the east. We are near Elilolum. Oh, there's a question mark. You research around and find out that the criminal was in Vancouver, but has already fled Canada. Further cooperation with the Intersleuth Networks provides three potential locations. You examine the evidence revealing the following clue for the location of the criminal. Head of a lion. Oh, there's more information here. Let's find out this clue, too. You examine the evidence, revealing the following location. Clue. Eiffel Tower. Head of the line, I was like, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not enough of a geography buff to know, but Eiffel Tower? That narrows things down a bit, doesn't it? To Detroit! <laughs> um, I think we have to leave via the way we came in, roughly. So let's try and head back to the west. We're going to win this time. Ethan Black, I'm coming for you. We have occasionally found weapons just laying around inside things. We should, we should occasionally... Whoops. Look out, buddy. Or I will machete you with my melee weapon. Um, we should at least duck into these places and see if like there's this abandoned weaponry. I don't know. Seems to me we've, we've, we've been successful at that before. Fuck. Does it take us a turn to switch our weapons? Oops. No, so we can we can fire at will then. Let's um, let's f oh I didn't mean to do that. Um, we could be in trouble. I'm afraid to switch my weapon in case it does take a turn. Okay, we got him. Let's go inside this building and cower. I like my other weapon better. <laughs> Just in case, let's switch back and have it at the ready. As far as I know, there's no need to reload ever. There's no um, ammo. I shot upside with my lethality kill. Like I, like I didn't shoot myself in the head with that. Targeted myself and pressed fire. Or more to the point, pressed fire and then targeted myself. September 20th, 1922. Do you remember what you were doing on that day? Neither do I. I was probably being not alive. Oh, fuck you, T. 
I may die because I killed a... Not because I killed a civilian, but because I wasted rounds on a civilian. Let's try running. Um, let's try Z for walk speed until we are running. And let's run. Whoa! You hold your breath. Okay, let's, let's stop running. Let's put our walk speed back to a relaxed step, and let's... Uh, no! <laughs> I didn't want to risk shooting myself. Let's stay here until our fucking stamina is back. And our health, for that matter. Our heroic... Heroic luck. You definitely want to get out of the um, combat every once in a while when it gets bad like that. Come on, heroic luck. Luck be a lady tonight. Luck be a lady tonight. Come on. Sometimes it feels like if you move, it comes back. It feels like it comes back at kind of random intervals, to be honest with you. We do still have the Bergman out, which means we have to close within five squares, this dude. But are we within five squares? Yes, we are. He's firing a Calibri, which is less accurate than what we're firing, I think. It does less damage. Alright, he's dead. Let's stand here. Apparently he kills him in the air, but oh, that's the... That's the... Civilian. I wonder why T for civilian. He has T for townie. Nothing but a local townie. Alright. We need to get west, young man. We killed someone here before, so we're on the right track. Here we go. All right, let's um move to the airport. Let's fly to Paris, France. Paris is the capital and largest city in France, situated on the River Seine. We read this before when we were here last time. It is the city of love. Let us move. Where will you go? To the police station? The park? Or the public library? Let's go meet an informant. That sounds cool. Here's a map that we can't really interpret. But we do know we're going to the northeast. I also know there's a guy there. There's no experience, so aside from gaining a weapon, maybe, um, that we could use, there's no reason to kill him. And of course, if he has a weapon that I want to use, that means his weapon is better than mine, which means he'll probably win a battle, so... I'm going to the southeast now. Let's, um... Let's avoid... Ah! Criminal shoots his... Fuck, okay. Buddy, look out. I don't mind killing you. I'm not worried about that. I'm more worried that you'll stop a bullet that could have hit him. Wow, we really don't want to go there. Did I get him? You can hear the bullet fly past your ears. Past your ears, not past, or past your ears, I guess is what he meant. Or you can hear the bullet past your ears. I feel a little nervous about this, guys. Um, given, oh, fuck. I thought I killed him. Let's just try running now, before it's too late. There's a guy to the south of him. If he comes up, we're fucked. Let's run up here. No! Let's run over here. And let's stop running. They don't seem to follow us a lot, so hopefully we can wait right here and recover our heroic luck before moving on. There's a lot of enemies here. It's a little scary. I guess I can't hit him there. We're at a bit of a disadvantage. We started with lower health than I would like. But.
let's maximize our chance of um, killing him by, you know, not accidentally targeting a civilian and wasting a round. Or he's dead. No, he's not. Alright, now he's dead. We left a period stain on the floor. <laughs> we, <laughs> we left a blood stain on the floor. That's not what I meant. That sounded, um... That sounded crude. We left a blood stain on the floor. A blood stain from injury, and nothing else. Alright, we've almost got our health back. Let's start walking east again. There was a guy. Here he is. There's a guy over here. There's a lot of enemies to worry about, man. Alright, he's dead. No, maybe he's not. During the more prompt, it um, it doesn't... Uh, it, it leaves a little period on the on the screen. Let's take our time here, guys. I'd like to find a better weapon. We found them before. We found other weapons, rather. I don't know if they're better, but we found other weapons previously. He's to the northeast. He's probably in this building right here that we're at. This is find an entrance. Here we go. This is probably it. No? Now he's to the southeast. Must be this building. Oh, I got out of there just in time. My heroic luck intact. I think I'm in it. Am I? Am I... Am I in the library? Am I still walking? Yeah, I'm still walking. I'm walking, yes indeed, I'm talking about you and me, I'm walking. Hoping that you'll come back to me. It's still like east, like directly through this wall. If we had a grenade, we'd be all set. Because fuck the French and their public libraries. Whoa. I like it when there's no civilians around, because then I just gotta press space. It's easy to... Combat becomes easy. There's a tiny bit of this... This is a this is a stretch. I think most people will call this a stretch, but there's a tiny bit of this that reminds me of Aliens RL. Um, maybe just because you, you, you had a similar graphic when you were firing your automatic weapon at the aliens in that game. I love that fucking game. Aliens RL is one of my favorites. Oh yeah, we got him. And we still have lots of health left. Let's keep going. Adam away, T. T is what I call my wife, so I should be careful about saying that. The fuck out of my way, T. Oh, shit. There's two of them. Let's run. Uh, Zed. Let's run. Alright, let's stop running. Let's see if we can get around this building this way. I don't know if there are finite enemies or if they'll respawn. Let's pass our turn a bit. Oh, fuck me. Let's run. Let's hide behind the people. <laughs> so that hopefully if he comes around that corner and starts firing, they take the bullet and not me. That's right, people. I'm a hero. <laughs> I'm a hero with a desire to live. What, you can hit me from there? I can't hit you, any fair. Oh, I hope that doesn't cost us. He's dead. Let's give it a minute, guys. Let's give it a minute. Get our health back. Our heroic luck, pardon me. The question is, are those two are those two guys still up here, or was one of them the guy we just killed? Alright. Maybe we got them. I think we can hit them from here. Let's 
What is he firing at me? A Mauser. See, the danger here, I think, if I'm interpreting this correctly, so we have the we have the advantage that we're firing five, five bullets for his every one. He's just firing a pistol back at us, but where the fuck's that Mauser? Mauser. It's actually the shittiest pistol there is in the game. It does one to two damage every time he hits us, but it has a range of ten and a spread of one, one bullet per attack, which I assume means it's a little more accurate as well. He did mention that spread was somewhat tied to accuracy, but I'm not entirely sure. I don't think... I, I, it was ten years ago he made this. I don't think either of us is entirely sure how it's tied to accuracy. Just that, just the vague notion that it is. That said... Oh, civilians duck and fucking cover when somebody starts shooting in your vicinity. Alright, he's dead. Let's pass our turn a little bit. I think we can do this if we take our time. Do I break this into two episodes, guys, or do I just... Eh, let's just try for an hour. Maybe we, can, maybe we can get it done inside of an hour. Ugh. There's no reason to take the Mauser. It's, um, it's shittier than our uh, double Derringer. Oops, no, not trying to do that. Just because there's no penalty to it doesn't mean I want to wantonly slay the populace. <clears throat> A little tedious to have to you know, manually rest after each combat instead of like in in um Angband or something you just press like shift R and be done with it. We know we have to get past this wall, the only question is how. And my guy just really doesn't like the cut of that townie's jib. I keep targeting him automatically. <laughs> Kill him. It's like the voices in the character's head. Kill the townie. I'm assuming we don't want to be in this oblong building. We want to be on the other side of this wall, though. We are going so well. Maybe that is it. Southwest. It's possible that this will. It's possible this is it. Maybe that's maybe that's the person informant. You research around and find out that the criminal was in Paris, but has already fled France. God damn it! Further cooperation with the Inner Sleuth Networks provides four potential locations. You interrogate the informant, revealing the following clue for the location of the criminal. Red kangaroo. <laughs> I'm guessing we're going to Australia? Isn't that the only place kangaroos exist? I have some info that may come in handy. Do you still have info? You've already interrogated. You don't have any more info. You're lying. You're lying. It seems to me, uh, out, out of these two, we've, we've done two missions now. One was go to the crime scene. One was go to an informant. The informant only gives us one piece of info, as far as I can tell, but the crime scene gave us two. Oh, fuck. Hello, sir. So informants may be the least effective way to... um to gain info. I, I, I don't want to cut through the buildings because it takes time like that. No. But at the same time, if they happen to have like a weapon laying around that will improve our odds, I'd like to find it. Let's, um, incidentally. We're in a goddamn suit. Didn't I? Yeah, there we go. Feel like trashy walking around in a raincoat. That ain't cool. Oh, that was a much easier way to get out of here, wasn't it? All right, let's um, let's try first of all moving to the airport and seeing if Australia, Sydney, Australia, is an option. Um, 
I can't see an association between kangaroos in any of these other locations. Certainly it's not on their flags. So Sydney, Australia it is. Isn't Sydney spelled with a Y? S-Y-D? Maybe not. Yeah, there it is. Spelled two different ways on the same page. Uh, Sydney, Australia. Sydney has a reputation as an international center for commerce. Oh, wait. The site of the first British colony in Australia. Sydney was established in 1788 as Sydney Cove by Arthur Philip, Commodore of the First Fleet, as a penal colony. Sydney has a reputation as an international center for commerce, arts, fashion, culture, entertainment, music, education, and tourism, making it one of GAWC's Alpha Plus World Cities. I don't know what that phrase means. GAWC's Alpha. I don't know what that means. That's, that's I have to look that up. That's information I don't. I'm not familiar with. There are three places in your list to look for clues leading to the criminal. Why I suddenly sound like um, Zoolander, I don't know. Derek Zoolander. Let's go look for the criminal. Um, let's move. Government building to meet, a, meet an informant. The house of Mr. and Mrs. Guile Collings. I assume they're like, they're, are they witnesses? To something? Like, I don't know why. Wait, 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 is that just randomly? They looked them up in the phone book? I'm like, I'm going to go talk to these guys. They have a cool name. Also, it's Mr. and Miss Guile Collings. Is that... Are they not married? Are they living together in sin? What is that? What is this? Should we go to a criminal safe haven? Like, just to see what it's about? But then, on the other hand, that sounds like a good way to get killed. And if we get killed, I'm pretty sure we're not finishing the game. Nonetheless, should we try it? We can always run away. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. Supermarket. Alright. Southeast. We always start at the western edge of the map. Stuck it in here because, again, we have found weapons in buildings before. And en route to a criminal safe haven seems like a good place to find better weapons. He's shooting back at me. Oh, still using a Mauser. Still using the shittiest gun in the game. Advantage us. Advantage dude in the dark blue suit. Let's keep going east. Until it tells us to go south. Let's just go in a straight line. Let's just... I mean, we're, we're obviously confined to right angles, given that we're in a city. They haven't built, um, you know, diagonal... things. Roads. Southwest. So, let's go down here. It's probably on this... Whoa! This side of the street that I'm on. I did press F earlier and a single key... Whoa! Fucking fuck. A single keystroke resulted in my firing. Let's try it again to see if it does it. Um, when I f maybe not, maybe it passed my turn. Maybe it was dumb. Maybe I was coincidentally using a, um, a pistol back then, and I took that bang to mean I shot, but I think that was him shooting at me. F, I don't think, does anything. Don't, oh, Jesus, let's run. Get out of the way, townie. Let's go to the east. We'll walk down this side of the buildings. No, let's not. Let's run like fuck. Let's run as if our lives depended on it, because they do. That's not the right way to shoot. Let's back off, so he has to come to us. Haven't found it. Oh my god! Let's run. We're already kind of tired. Let's run anyway. Go, fuck off. So, hello, sir. Why are you banging into me at high speed? Because you're in my fucking way. Well, it's only one. He's firing back at us with a. No, Mauser. We 
on the eastern edge of the map. Oh, we're done. There's a, oh, fuck. This might not go well. Let's run. Where to, I don't know. Given there were enemies back this way, too. Let's wait right here. And hope to God nobody comes around any corners. Uh, like that guy. Do we run again? We have two options. He's probably already hurt, because we were shooting at him. Um, but, if we try and run he from here, he's going to be like on us fast. I think we should shoot. The criminal drops dead. Was there a second one? The criminal's hit right in his chest, and then the criminal drops dead, and then there's this fucker. Who the fuck's this guy? Unless he's undead, who the fuck is this guy? Do we run now? Is this sufficient cause to panic? We are... Like, I don't know what, 70% dead? Face to face with a criminal? Um, I don't know if, if running is going to help. Or if we'll get shot in the back. Did he just... Was he not really there? Did he, did he not update the graphic in time? Was he dead? Because as soon as we moved, he turned into a bloodstain. Unless he went back around the corner. Let's pass our turn. A lot. But slowly. Slowly enough that we can keep an eye on any approaching... Um, enemies. Man, Sydney's a dangerous place. And not just because of all the big spiders. I'm not seeing anyone here. I think I think it was just a graphic goal thing. Maybe not. One on one, I see. You. Whoa, fuck! It's no longer one on one. It's now one on Jesus Christ. I'm fucked. I can step out into the darkness. That's interesting, eh? We need to get down to the south here, but every time I try, there's like four more criminals. Is it because we did the whole go to the criminal ah! hideout mission? Also, is, are there finite criminals? Am I making a dent in their numbers, or will they keep spawning? Is this like fucking Gauntlet? Gauntlet with fedoras. Is that what we're playing? I don't know. find a little scary that they, they keep showing up. I'm still running, by the way. Let's just take ourselves out of that, just in case. Alright, it's dead. It's dead! Oh, fucking fuck! It's dead. We've killed like six or seven fucking enemies here. Around this building. Around this one fucking building. This is like danger central. I'm standing in the middle of the street. Watching my wounds magically close. Actually, I guess not. We're watching our, we're watching our luck come back. Watching our, our rabbit's foot regain luster. Look at it. Look at this. Five, five we killed right here. And there's two more right there. Motherfucker. No! Run! Let's run this way. Maybe we'll try, uh... Whoops, don't do that. Maybe we'll try, um... Go on a different approach. This this intersection that we keep passing through is, like, just filled with criminals. And again, maybe that's because of the mission we took? How do I know? You need to go out, Ben? One second. One, one of my other cats wants out now. It's okay, Bob. You can go out. Come here. There you go, my friend. Okay. Let's continue south. Looking for adventure. Whoa, something's shooting at us. I didn't see him. Until uh, it was too late. 
he's dead. We have not found another, like, we, we can't press, like, I here to pick something up, eh? No. It does specifically say on, on the on the Remington Double Derringer, it says damage 4d2. Whereas the information I had outside of this was 1d2. 4d2 with a spread of 1. It does start as your equipped weapon. Maybe, maybe we're better off with a d re Double Derringer. I don't know. Despite the information I have, I mean, A, the information I have seems slightly faulty. Although it can't be because it's in, I actually got the code. Let me just double check. Am I, am I, am I lying to you? Am I lying? Um, double Derringer. Oh, 2 4. Not uh, 2 1, 2 4. Huh. Go figure. All right. I, I, does that again without knowing more about the accuracy? I mean, maybe maybe that's maybe that's better. Let's, let's try switching back. I know in our previous game we uh oh, fuck off, we had um a lot better luck with our Derringer than we did with the MP18. So let's try the uh, let's try the Derringer for a bit. Unfortunately, we can't go this way. Hello, sir. Get him away. My patience is wears thin with you, T's. We can't go. Uh, we can't go this way. This is like the only way to reach our goal. Ah, motherfucker. Um, can they both hit us? Let's run. I mean, hope we, we saw two of them over there before. Hopefully that's the two. Like, hopefully there is finite numbers. If there's not, we are never getting past this intersection. In 25 years, I will still have the recording going from OBS Studios, watching me try to round this corner. I'd like to get a better weapon, please. Where'd this bastard go? Aha! Oh, he's out there. Odds seem roughly similar. Right? We're not like we're not ending up with worse outcomes using the Derringer than we were with the Bergman. Again, if they're spawning somewhere over here, we're gonna be fucked. But let's try passing our turn without retreating, so we don't give them a a better chance to show up. You know. All right, let's run. We just can't seem to make any progress here. Maybe this was just too too t tough of a, a mission for us. Maybe this is the nature of enemy hideouts, you know? I don't know. I thought it would be a cool way to proceed, but maybe it wasn't. I think I did prefer my Bergman. I don't know. Let's go to I. No, let's not go to I. Let's go to U. Let's put back on our Bergman. I don't know what the remote communication device is for. If anything. It may not have been implemented. I'm starting to suspect they're responding, because we, we just keep meeting... So many people here. That is ludicrous, isn't it? And if we don't progress, if, if that's the case, we don't progress, we're fucked. We've now made it further than we ever have before. Which is not saying much, but it is true. Let us continue. 
Uh, we're trying to get to the northeast. So it is in this building. It's in this fuck me building. Get, get out of the way, dude. I should have dropped you just for being a jerk. We gotta find the entrance. The entrance is not on, the entrance is on that south side. God damn it. So we have to kill these guys. We're still in relatively good shape. Let's progress. At least they all have Mausers. Fucking fuck. They must fucking spawn. Like, they must, right? I'm invested in this now, though. I'm having fun. Which is cool. I think it was just the absence of data before was really, was really what was killing me. I we give me in a lot of trouble. He's firing his Calibri too, so it's a it's a deadlier weapon. We have to get around that corner. I'm sure that on the south side of this building is the entrance to the building we need. On the south side of this building is the entrance, period. The only question is, you know, can we ever reach it? The only answer is no. I'm sure they are spawning in, in this building, no less. Not just spawning, but spawning right where we're trying to go. Let's just keep trying to push forward. There's the entrance. And they're coming out of it. I think we should probably abort this mission. I just don't see much likelihood of our penetrating that entrance. If they're coming out of it. Like, as soon as we enter, does it end? Is that, is that what puts a stop to it? I don't know. Um, more parameters of... Uh, let's try using our communication device. Does nothing, as far as I can tell. Um, oh, fuck, except for it summons a guy. Zed. Zed. I don't think we're going to get in there. Like, I just don't think it's going to happen, period. I think we figured out what we're trying to do. The, the Generally, like, the... the vaguest answer to that question, and we're trying to get in that entrance why we're trying to get into that entrance, what we're trying to do once we're in there. Is it, is it going to be filled with enemies? Or is it as soon as you enter, you're just like, okay, you've solved it. You made it into the, the hideout. And all the criminals will now be your friends. I don't know. We're going to quit in a minute, though. We're coming up on the one-hour mark. Most of that hour has been trying to get in this fucking supermarket. <laughs> for their sale on peaches. Ah! Kill one of them. Can I kill the other? Oh, it doesn't matter. Like, we're, we're here and we still can't get in, guys. Alright. Um, no, don't aim. I see no... If we don't want to abort this game, and I don't, I'm enjoying it enough that I would like to keep going. I just don't think there's any hope of finishing this mission. I think this was a mistake. I regret it. I'm going to try and get the fuck out of this 
town and or this region. Jesus Christ, fuck off. Zed. Zed. Oh, I'm not trying to do that. I'm gonna try and uh, get out of why did, I, why did I do that, guys? Excellent news. I don't know if you can see it. I guess you can't. We're not recording the window. Um, so I was doing some work on Stop the Saturnians over the last few weeks. What, right now what I'm working on, incidentally, is um, getting the Steam achievements working. Um, but I had done some work before. I had a, a playtester playing, and he was using his uh, his controller, and his controller was not working. Um, he had a really... He had a PS4 DualShock controller, and he's like, I wish it worked right out of the box. I'm like, I don't know what to tell you. My Xbox 360 controller works. Um, but I did some work on it a few weeks ago, and he finally got around to testing it. He's like, yep, it's working great. So that's good news. He couldn't skip the intro with the controller. All right, I'll... Uh, I'll see what I can do about that. For now, though, let's um, let's get our luck back. It's coming back. It's coming back slowly. Yeah, I'm sorry we didn't get to see what this mission was like um, upon completion, but I just don't. I don't. Th I think you can agree we were not getting in that door. We kept coming close, dude. If you stand there, you're gonna die. And I'm gonna laugh. I'm gonna laugh at your little period corpse. Ugh. Fuck you. Here, you cost me. Trying not to kill you cost me. Alright, let's get the fuck out of the city. Or not the city, this region. Let's stop trying to go to the supermarket because supermarkets, as we all know, are deadly. If it's not criminals, it's like a case of listeria on romaine lettuce. Alright, we're out of here. Let's move to a different place. Instead, let's go someplace that sounds like it'd be a little, uh, let's meet an informant at the government building. How dangerous can a government building be? Um, although, let's do that in the next episode. I'm going to come back, guys. This will be a two episode. Maybe, maybe more. I don't know. We'll see how long it takes us. Um, I'm actually enjoying this now. Um, again, at least I have enough information. I knew, and now I know how to switch the lethality, which I think is lo allowing us to survive battles a little better. I now know more about, um, the weapons in general, I can look up and see what the different stats are. I don't know how much that's helping me right now. As you can see, I'm still divided on is f 4d2, which would be 4 to 8 damage from a single bullet, better than than 5d2? Well, there's your answer, isn't it? <laughs> but the 5d2 with, with all the bullets missing and hitting, like some of them will hit, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I really know. I'll be back tomorrow with more Elite International Detective. Goodbye.